I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. Right now we're here with Christy Fung who is one of two Teachers of the Year for the Sacramento City Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well first tell us where you teach and tell us what you teach. I teach kindergarten at Freeport Elementary, um, that's Sac City Unified School District. Okay. And I teach a, a very diverse population of students. Um, every year I have at least um, five languages represented in the classroom. That must create quite a challenge for you then. Tell me about that. Uh, it is challenging but, challenging, but it's also very fun. And my thing is I'm very big on culture and I love promoting it. So every um, morning, I would, we would, all the students would greet each other and the, all the languages represented in the classroom. And we also learn how to count in, from one to 10 in all the languages. And also um, uh, we say goodbye in different languages. And even when I take attendance, we learn how to say here in all the languages represented as well. So that gives all of the students a, a taste of the cultures of their classmates. Right, and I want them to value each other and respect each other and value where they come from and their roots and their background. So how long have you been a teacher? I've been teaching for uh, 10 years, and all 10 years I've been at Freeport Elementary because I love the um, diverse population, and I, I just absolutely love the community there, and the families are great. So I've been there the whole entire time. So what are some of the challenges that you face in the classroom as a teacher every day? Well, um, to, there's time constraints. You know, try to fit every single component in with the limited time that we have. So that is a challenge. And um, I, you know, differentiate instruction. And I have after school tuning program and also enrich, uh, enrichment program to reach um, all the students and meet um, the diverse needs of all my students. And then the challenge that um, the students face, I would say um, because I work at a, a high poverty area mm -hmm. and so a lot of them come to school with uh, struggles. So to help them and to, you know, have them come to school and, um, you know, let it be a, a learning haven for them, you know, to, um, uh, create an environment where they are, they, they feel successful and that uh, to nourish them and so they can forget about what the, you know, what's out there. Yeah. With the diverse classroom that you have, do you find some challenges dealing with the different cultures? Or at that young age, are they so accepting of other people that it's really, it's not a problem? It's not so much a problem and I came from a background where I came to America uh, at the age of nine. So I can really relate to the families and to the students. So um, I, I know how to build relationships with the students and the, the parents, where um, everyone is very respectful towards one another. And um, a lot of them are disadvantaged where they don't get to uh, celebrate, let's say, Thanksgiving. So I, it, you know, I would bring in a, a Thanksgiving dinner so everyone would have something. And um, for Cinco de Mayo, we'll have uh, piñatas and sombreros. Every child has a sombrero. So I incorporate a lot of culture and promote a lot of uh, respect in the classroom. So in the 10 years that you've been a teacher at the one school, what are some of the biggest changes you've seen in that, in that amount of time? Mm, I'd say probably with curriculum-wise, um, it's standard space. Everything is standards driven. Um, the, the curriculum we use is all standards driven the to meet all of the California standards. And um, the challenge to take that curriculum and teach it and yet, you know, make it work for all the students in the classroom. So tweak it and still meet their needs and also um, meet the objective and the standards of California. So that's what I've been seeing as a pattern that, you know, um, the trend is going a lot more standard space. And of course, technology. Nowadays, you know, everything is computer um, basis. And so I have to make all the learning fun and exciting I'm, because I'm competing with, you know, video games and everything. So 
I have to make learning very engaging for the students. Do you find that hard to motivate students even that young or is it easier when they're that young? Oh, they actually, I think it's a lot easier because they're like sponges. They just <laughs> soak up everything. They come in, they want to learn, they're motivated, they're excited. And, um, you know, you show it to them and, and your excitement is it, it, contagious. So they want to learn and I always tell my students that, um, you know, we, we eat food because we want to grow taller and healthier and stronger. Well, our brain needs food and that is knowledge. So, you know, we'll be smarter. And they come every day and they, in the middle of lesson, children will raise their hands and say, Miss Fung, I love to learn. I love to feed my brain with knowledge. And hearing that, it's just so gratifying, and, you know, so rewarding as a teacher. You know, at any level of education, you know, parental involvement is, is really important for a, for a child's development uh, in school. What are some of the things that you do to encourage parental involvement in your classroom? Well, um, it's in the beginning of the year when I get my class list, I call the parents to introduce myself and I talk to the students themselves. I also send postcards to um, the students to just start off on a positive note and to let them know that you know, we are a team and we have the same common goal and our goal is for the child to be successful. And when the parents see that, that you genuinely want to teach their child and genuinely care about their child, they'll be very supportive and encouraging. And, you know, they'll do whatever it, it takes at home to uh, reinforce learning. So what made you become a teacher? What, what brought you here to this profession? Um, I, as stated earlier, I came here at nine years old and I didn't speak any English. It was very hard for me to navigate through the system, but I love school. I've always loved school. I love to learn and I was very fortunate. I have very, um, a lot of teachers that are very encouraging and very positive. Um, so I developed that, you know, love for learning very early on. I remember, um, and by fifth grade, I said, I knew that I wanted to be a teacher. I just knew it because I would correct papers for uh, teachers and I would help them prep projects. So I said, oh, this is so easy. This is so fun. I can do it. So I've always been very focused, you know, um, through high school, straight out of college, got my credential. So I was teaching by the age of 22. I knew early on that that's, you know, what I want to do and that's my dream. Um, and here I am. So um, what was your reaction then when you learned that you were one of the teachers of the year for the Sacramento City Unified School District? Oh, it's, it's humbling because, um, you know, to be able to represent um, a district of so many great teachers is, is very humbling. And I love what I do. And to receive recognition for that is like icing on top of the cake. You know, it's, it's just great. And I feel that this recognition is not just for me. It's also for all the great educators out there who work so hard um, uh, to change lives every day. So what would you say to those people that are considering teaching as a profession? Um, what would you say to encourage them, to convince them that this is a path they should follow? Oh, this is the most rewarding, most gratifying profession out there. And it is the one profession that paves way for other professions, you know? You, so sitting in the classroom, you'll have uh, future lawyers, doctors, uh, police officers, business people, and maybe even the future president. So it's just gratifying to know that you contribute to that, you know, to our society and to our future. And it's so fun. Every day is a new day. Every day is exciting. And, you know, every day you'll hear lots of, I love you, I love you, I love to learn, you make me so happy, and all the notes that you get on a daily basis, you know, where else can you find that? So you don't have any trouble telling people how you feel about teaching, do you? Oh, no, I get so excited. I'm normally a very quiet and shy person, but when it comes to talking about my students or my classroom, my eyes just lit up and I get so excited. and. and, and yeah, eager to share my experiences. Well, maybe you have some future teachers in your classroom, too. Oh, I bet, <laughs> because I do ask them um, what they want to be when they grow up. And every year, I have a lot that said, I want to be a teacher just like you, Miss Fong, just like you. So, yes, I'm sure I will have many great teachers in the future.
Okay, well, we thank you for your time. And we've been speaking with Christy Fung, who is one of two teachers of the year for the Sacramento City Unified School District. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.